Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this equation. To solve this kind of equation with radicals, we can group radical on one side without radical on the other side, which means that we have x plus 5 move to the left minus 5 is equal to positive radical move to the right negative square root of 2x minus 7. To remove square root, the best way is to square. So we should square both sides. When we square negative, we obtain positive. Square root square offset each other, we left 2x minus 7. Square the left hand side, we have x squared minus 5 times 2 minus 10 with x. Minus 5 times minus 5 plus 25. Now bring everything to the left. We obtain x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus move over minus. Minus move over plus. Simplify we have x squared minus 10 minus 2 minus 12. Plus 25 plus 7 plus 32 is equal to 0. We can factorize. We should obtain x minus 4 times x minus 8 is equal to 0. So which means that x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 8 is equal to 0. And we obtain x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 8. For question that with radicals, we should check the domain. For all real number of x, which means that 2x minus 7 is always non-negative. So which means that x must be at least 7 over 2 or 3.5. We check that x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 8, both more than 3.5. So which means that we can accept both answers. If let's say we are not good in factorization, we can make use of the quadratic formula. Recall that we have x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. What we have here is x squared minus 12x plus 32 is equal to 0. From here, we can see that the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, so we have a is equal to 1, and b is the coefficient of x, which is minus 12, and c is the constant, which is 32. We just have to substitute this into the equation that we have. So we have minus b minus 12 plus 12 plus minus square root of b squared, what we need here is square, so which means that plus or minus doesn't matter. We can take simply positive 12 square minus 4, a is 1 and c is 32 divided by 2a. And we should obtain 12 plus minus square root of 16 divided by 2. So which means that we have 12 plus so 16 is 4 divided by 2 or 12 minus 4 divided by 2. So from here we obtain 8 or 4, which is exactly the same as when we applying the factorization. And hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.